Hi, I'm Rachel Basco with Bossier Parish Community College, and this module is going to talk about prefixes. Prefixes are the word parts that are found at the beginning of a word. They add to the core meaning of a word. Keep in mind that not every word has a prefix. You already know many prefixes. You probably are just not aware of it. So in this slide, we see three pictures. In the middle is a game. This is a game of men playing football. Oftentimes when we watch football, there is a show that occurs before the game, the game is played, and then there is a show after the game. The show that occurs before the game is called the pre-game, the game is played, and then we have the post-game show. So we can see that the prefix pre means before because it was the show that occurred before the game. The post-game show occurs after the game. We see that the prefix post means after. What about this one? Here we see a child and they're moving. They're very, very active. Because they're very, very active, we say that child is acting hyper or hyperactive. So the prefix hyper means a lot or excessive, and when you put that to the root of active, you see the child is hyperactive. What about this child? What is she acting like? She is what we say would be hypoactive. Hypo is a prefix that means a little or not very much. So hypoactive is very little activity. So let's make this a little more difficult. Let's look at two new prefixes, dis and dis. We can tell this is a prefix because it has letters followed by a hyphen. That hyphen lets us know that that word part is a prefix. So anytime you see letters followed by a hyphen, they're telling you this word part is a, is a prefix. Let's look at the first prefix, dis, that is spelled D-I-S. Dis, spelled D-I-S, has the general meaning of not. So let's look at the word disappear. Appear means to be seen. So if we add the prefix dis, it makes the word disappear, meaning not seen. Let's look at the word disrespect. The word respect means to admire someone. We put the prefix dis in front of it, and now it means to not admire someone or disrespect them. The next prefix is dis, D-Y-S. It has the general meaning of difficult. In this word, we see the word dysfunctional, and perhaps you have heard this word when we talk about a dysfunctional family. It is still a family, it's just not functioning very well, so we say it is a dysfunctional family or difficultly functioning. The last word is dyslexia. Dyslexia is a word perhaps you have heard when we describe children or adults that are not able to read well. The prefix dys meaning difficult. So you would know just by knowing the word without ever taking medical terminology that this person has a difficulty with words. The prefix dys means difficulty and the root lex means words, so a difficulty with words. So let's figure out two new words. Well, here's we have diarrhea, and we have all had diarrhea at one point or time, right? So what exactly does diarrhea mean? Let's break it down. So the prefix dia means through. The root rhea means flow. So it's a flow that goes right through you. And perhaps you've heard people say, boy, ooh, that food went right through me. That I had diarrhea. So that is how I remember what diarrhea means. It's a flow that goes right through you. Let's look at the next word, bilayer. Bilayer is something we talk about in biology because cells have two layers. It's a bilayer membrane. The prefix bi means two. So perhaps you know what a bicycle is. It's a vehicle with two wheels. So by means two. So anytime you see the prefix by, you should think two, like having more than one. 
So something with a bilayer has two layers. So let's really make this difficult. So here is a multiple choice question, and I want you to look and say, what does the word bilingual mean? Well, we have not talked about lingual, so you may not know what lingual means, but we have talked about the word or the prefix bi. So you would look at these multiple choice selections, and you would find the answer that has two in the answer. So having one organ, that can't be right, because bi means two, so this answer is not correct. Letter B is a structure with four sides. That cannot be correct because bi means two. Ability to speak two languages. Okay, that's probably it because there's our word two that refers to bi in the word. Always double check all of your choices to make sure that there's no tricks in there. And the last choice is a compound with many sugars. It has to have the word two in it. Many, yes, that's more than one, but there's another prefix that means many. So your answer is going to be C, ability to speak two languages. You knew that just because you knew the meaning of the word by, or the meaning of the prefix by. So when you're going about learning your prefixes, here's a plan of attack. The first thing you should do is memorize your list of prefixes. When you do, try to think of a word that you already know that starts with the prefix such as bicycle. You knew bicycle was two wheels, therefore you knew bi meant two. When you try to look at a word, in a new word they give you, try to look at it and just find the prefix and just define the prefixes. But keep in mind, not all words have a prefix.